So I just got out of my therapy and I learned something really important today. I learned that um, our nervous system absorbs everything that we say and do in our lives from the time we're born. So our nervous system absorbs the messages that we tell ourselves. It doesn't just absorb the, the, the things that we experience in life from day to day. It doesn't just absorb um, the experiences we have in our relationships. It doesn't just absorb our trauma. Our nervous system absorbs our messages. Our self-talk affects our body. Now, I knew that to some degree, but I just had a really deep talk about it with my therapist. So much so that when you say things to yourself like, I'm getting fat, your nervous system takes that on. When you say some to your, something to yourself like, um, I could have done that thing better, your nervous system takes that on. Your nervous system is taking on your negativity. Your nervous system is taking on your distaste for yourself. Your nervous system is taking on your failures. It's so important that we, as individuals, that we focus on how we speak to and about ourselves. So what I need to do for myself going forward as I'm healing from 55 years of life <laughs> is to say things to myself like this. I need to say, wow, I'm so proud of you that you've gotten through that event. Wow, look at how you were able to manage yourself through this trial. Or, or look what you just accomplished. Or, I know that that was hard, but you're okay now. I need to say messages like that instead of these messages. God, my life has been so hard. When is it going to get better? Or, that sucked. I'm so glad that that's over. We can't talk to ourselves like that because our nervous system is still absorbing that negativity. And then we're never going to climb above the struggle. We're never going to climb up out of the harm that we're doing to ourselves. Now, this is the hardest work. It is the hardest work in the world to change your self-talk. But it's that self-talk that's everything. It's everything. The way that I speak about myself to myself is more valuable than how my loved ones speak to me about me. My opinion of myself is way more important than your opinion of me. I hope that you have a good opinion of me, but I'm not going to value your opinion of me above my own. So what I'm pledging to work on right now, and maybe you'll make the same pledge for you, what I'm pledging to work on right now to heal 55 years of life is to thank myself for showing up every single day. I need, and so do you, to thank myself for trying. I need to tell myself, you rock! Because I've had a career for 26 years. You rock! Because I've raised two children. You rock! Because you survived multiple traumatic relationships. You rock! Because you managed co-parenting children after a horrific divorce. You are amazing because you healed from your trauma. You are amazing because you wake up every single day and you try again. You are amazing because you are a loving human being. You are beautiful with your gray hair and your freckles all over your face. You are beautiful with those wrinkles. 
You are beautiful in that body because it's that body that embodies you. You are an amazing human being. You are kind. You are joy. You are creative. You offer light to this world. You offer love to people. You help people see themselves when you show up exactly the way you are. You create a better life for yourself when you show up exactly the way you are, exactly how you are, exactly who you are. I'm telling you this because it's the truth. And when we get to this age in midlife, whether you're midlife at 30, midlife at 40, or you're 50 years old and older, when we show up here and we get here, we can be tired because we've lived so much life. But just remember that exhaustion is because of all the things that you have experienced and survived. That exhaustion is there as a message to you that you've worked hard and you deserve this moment to make it however you want it to be. You are exactly where you need to be and you are exactly who you need to be. The only thing that you need to keep doing for yourself is loving you. Love you. Love the fact that you show up to your job. Love the fact that you show up to yourself. Love the fact that you have friends and family who think you are the bomb. Love the fact that you have creative ideas. Love the fact that one day you will dive into and explore those creative ideas. But love the fact that you are here now and that you are fine and that if you're not feeling fine, that's okay. Because your nervous system needs to know that you're okay. Your nervous system wants to be okay. Your body wants to be at a homeostasis point. It wants to be good. So if you're in pain right now, if you're unhappy with your weight right now, if you're unhappy with how you look, if you're unhappy with your job, if you're unhappy with the place you are in your life right now, I understand. But if you keep focusing on the unhappiness, you're likely going to stay there because your body, your body, your heart, your nervous system, your brain, your, 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 everything, <laughs> your aura, everything is going to stay in that negative place. So please, right now, I beg you, I'm imploring you to find one thing that you love in this moment and say it. Maybe it's not something you love about you right now. That's okay. Maybe you love that the sky is blue where you are. Maybe you love that you have water to drink. Maybe you love that you have this cat or a dog or a pet who relies on you and makes you feel like you have a purpose. So even if it's not you, find a thing around you that you love and focus on that and bring that joy and contentment to your nervous system. Do that once a day and we're going to heal ourselves. We're going to do it together. I know there are so many people in my community here, 879 of you and others who haven't yet subscribed to my community yet. I know that all of us here in this community, not one of us yet feels exactly okay with who we are. And the reason why I know that is not because I've spoken to each and every one of you, but it's because that is our job throughout our life. That's why we're here, is to come back to ourselves. 
So we have all of our years here, however many years we get, we have all of those years for the self-exploration, for the self-knowing, for this understanding. We have all of these years to do it. So I know that in each and every one of you, there is goodness. You just have to look in there and find it. You're all beautiful. We're all fabulous. That's our set point. Find a way to make your nervous system happy today. Just take 10 seconds and say something lovely to yourself. And then go about your day. That's my message to you. Love you.